Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Sherika here. So this channel basically embarks on my career as a caregiver. Also it is mixed with a point to all of this, I promise. This video is basically going to give a caregiver story because you know I have a story for you guys and it's in all of this is gonna make sense. A bath and body haul and you know just like some back of the backstory stuff so let's get into it hey y'all so i had to pop in here real quick because i didn't get to finish my thought but actually i kind of edited so many things out because i was rambling this video is inspired by a video that i saw from a youtuber um named chloe her and her boyfriend they have a page together well she has her own page and they have a page together and i popped in on their page and that's when Him i saw teaching her sign language so that kind of like was like oh and the reason why that caught my attention is because i i took asl1 and asl2 in high school so that brought me to thinking about my client who was deaf and i'm like oh i can tell that story because she was so cute watching him teach her asl and it was so dope because it was a fun fact i would have never known i would have never known that he was so fluent in sign language had they not have shown it was me. really cool so basically he was teaching her asl because his mother is deaf and you know she, chloe kind of said you know me and his mother can't really communicate and we can't really get to know each other on that next level because she's deaf and i don't know how to communicate with her so he was teaching her like the basics me and her we used to kick it middle-aged woman she always was so happy that's one thing that used to like that i used to love about her like every time you would come to her house she was happy like all the time and i used to be like hey like she just made you happy because she was always so happy she never had a bad day like she could she could not be able to like get out of her chair come all the way but she would still be smiling right she was just so super positive and we were able to communicate a little bit you know i was able to get my point across to her and she was able to get her point across to me too and sometimes if i if i just didn't know what she was talking about she would either mouth it or she would speak she couldn't speak very well but she would speak some of the words right so that i could understand what she was saying so we had had like this this understanding of each other which was really good too so <laughs> me and her used to hang out so she would go to my parents house with me she would go to like barbecue like the point of being with her was she was super independent she knew how to do everything but it was to get her out the house it was to get her social in her community of you know deaf people and it was you know to kind of enrich her life a little bit because you know otherwise she would just have to sit in the house she couldn't drive and you know it was a lot to have transportation bus come and pick her up and just kind of like traveling on her own was just like not the move so she had pretty much 24 hour care so i would work during the day on the weekend and i would take her to like events or i would take her to my parents or my family events so we would just hang out all the time and it was cool because she could read my lips too really good or read other people's lips. So she was able to like laugh if she said, you know, whatever somebody said to her. So <laughs> when it was a part in the video when he was talking about how, God, what he said, but it was something about it. He was somewhere and it was so loud like and he was like i'm not trying to be disrespectful to the community and i don't want to be disrespectful to the community as well when i tell you this but so this one day nettie wanted to go to this um event which i used to take her to events all the time but i would drop her off but this particular day i went in because where the event was was at a library that i grew up at it was it was literally right up the street from where i grew up and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go in because I, you know, knew the librarians in there. Like I knew people in there, but I was like, I'm gonna just go in with her. We get downstairs to the event, right? And of course the person who is like running the show there, he's deaf, but he like, you couldn't even tell. He could talk really good. You know, he greeted her, you know, and he greeted me and I was able to talk to him without even trying to sign because he was just that good, right? So we get down there, you know, they have the refreshments and they even have music playing in class. I even learned that, you know, sometimes that people can come off, you know, feel the, um, feel like the melody of the music. Like you can feel the music. It was like the loudest party I ever been to. I'm like, oh my gosh, they are so loud. Like 
and it's not some of them are talking some of them not talking but they're making like these noises it it was the loudest party that i ever been to and i'm not even i'm like being straight up right now because i know you like no you've been to a party that's louder but yes that's music loud music but never at a party where people were just like using their voices to just it was it was so super loud so i remember going over to nitty like nitty i'm gonna leave and i'm gonna come back and get you okay if you need me sooner you know how to reach me but i could not stay i was like i can't stay here but i used to have a lot of fun with nitty we used to kick it you know we'd be at the house and i would you know she used to get a kick out of the stuff that i used to make for her in the kitchen um, and i loved her and i like i said it was just so good to like have a client that you know kind of i was able to perform a little bit of asl and it was i was able to pull that back from my childhood a little bit so it was cool because i had a teacher and i'll just go and tell you this real quick my teacher who was my asl teacher he was hearing but you would not be able to tell that he was hearing because he was good at signing that good so like when we was in class he would sign like you know how you 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 yell out sherika are, are you here and you got i'm he, you know here or whatever no he would be signing everybody's name and if you missed your name you would get marked absent so he would do that kind of stuff so one day he ended up coming up to my job because i used to work at wendy's and i used to work the front counter and he knew this he would come and visit me at work all the time and do you know what he would do he would literally sign his order he would not speak he told me too because when he first saw me there he was like oh i i got something for you and i used to be like what and i'm telling you like it used to be the coolest thing he was the coolest teacher he used to take us on little field trips we would go visit you know um plays deaf plays people who you wouldn't even think were deaf because they could talk so well on stage or we would go to a completely signing uh play where it was completely quiet and you had to literally pay attention to the signing that was done so it was it was just a whole nother world to be i wish i would have stuck with it because that would have been a cool thing to like know how to do or even be an interpreter one day or something like that like i wish that i would have stuck with it because it's such a different thing to like know how to do is sign like people don't just know how to sign like you have to have like some type of connection to somebody that's deaf like your parent or your your sibling or something like that you people don't just know how to sign so it would be really cool for me to like learn how to sign but i didn't stick with it like i said i took asl1 i took asl2 and once i got out of high school I never even like turn back you know I can I can sign my name and, and that's about it I can do the numbers and all that kind of stuff like that's the only thing I know how to do so I don't know <laughs> so anyway I hope y'all like that story okay on to my um bath and body haul I actually bought this stuff I don't know three weeks ago two three weeks ago and this goes back to Chloe's um video about like turning up on your hygiene like that's how you know like i'm telling you guys literally i bought this stuff three weeks ago they had a semi-annual sale and i went we were in akron me and my my guy we were in akron and i like turned up on some you know some on some bath and body stuff because i love that stuff but i haven't touched it since i bought it i have not touched none of it so anyway, I'm just going to do a little quick haul and show you guys what I bought because I bought some great things. So first of all, I have this Into the Night. So Into the Night is my favorite one. So I bought the Into the Night shower gel and the body scrub. And the reason why I bought this body scrub again is because I, I'm out of it now. I just had it. I got it for Mother's Day. It was awesome and it's gone now so i had to buy another one and obviously my body wash is also gone as well so i bought the shower gel which is kind of like the same thing the body wash is a little more creamier than the shower gel but hey they all work well and i also bought the body cream and all of this is something that i that i love i love this and i just found out so dark kiss is actually my very favorite one like my favorite one since back when i was like i don't know a teenager 
I used to buy dark kits, but for whatever reason, they have discontinued dark kits and they only bring it back during semi-annual sales and they only bring it back during Christmas, literally. Like you cannot get this stuff unless it's during those two times, that's it. So this is just the shower gel because they did not have any of the lotion. They didn't have anything else but the shower gel. And like this stuff was like $3 and some change or whatever. But Dark Kiss, just know, Dark Kiss is my favorite. Found out that these two are kind of one and the same. Into the Night smells a lot like Dark Kiss, but I don't care. Hands down, Dark Kiss is my favorite one. Then I bought a Misty Morning body cream. So I've never had this before. But it smells very clean. And then y'all, I went throwback. I went throwback because this is where it all started. Come on now, Japanese cherry blossom, what? This is where it all started. I think, I don't know, somebody must have bought me this and then I was hooked, hooked. But they have made so many lotions and gels and all this kind of stuff that I just completely forgot about Japanese cherry blossom. But I had to go throw back on them and I had to buy it. And like this packaging is not even the same as it was from back in the day, but it has some similarities. But yes, come on. Anybody that knows about that Japanese cherry blossom, come on, hit the comments, hit the like button, come on, because I know y'all know about it. Then I bought you're the one so this is kind of like one that's kind of newer for me but i've had it before it smells really good and i was able to get this so like i said i've done all day so anyway and then i went throw back again i kind of went back to the basics now country apple come on y'all who 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 remembers country apple come on now it smells it still smells the same but this is one of the ones that's like the og Okay, these two think OG of Bath and Body. I had to buy them because they are the OGs. Oh, oh, I forgot, I got one more thing. So we decided to get foaming uh, hand soap. And this smells really good. I can't even remember what it smelled like, but I know it smelled really good. And we was like, we just gonna start with one because people, we can go, you know, you can go real crazy. Yes, this smells, yes this smells amazing so i can't i'm gonna wash my hands just so that i can smell this on me oh my gosh it smells so good y'all so it's called turquoise waters and it's got a little lighthouse on there it's kind of cute it's giving me like seattle vibes I bought two loofahs this is actually my honey him one because it was buy one get one and i bought me a pink one but i am currently using mine thank you for sticking around to watch caregiver story obviously caregiver chronicles you know i always gotta come with a story and then also you know stay on this journey with me please like comment subscribe and share these videos to our family and friends see you in my next video